vat na die uh, wegspring plek toe, maar een baie belangrike wedren is vroeger in december gehaard loop, en dit was die Phillies Guineas op Milnerton, trouwens op die 7 december, waar Elifa hierdie wedren gewen het. American connection coming forward to join the informative. The fine cause in the center is coming on strongly. Magnificent Miss is in behind the East Coast, three lengths off the leader. American Connection has her head in front, 300 meters left to go, Divine Cause along the outside, Elif is coming on strongly between horses and Eastern Vents is running on, Temperance coming on late is wide open, Elif with her head in front, Divine Cause, Happy News wide out, Elif down the inside is fighting extra, and Elif is going to win the finish in his Eastern Vents is second, Proxy Dixon blue for third, very close behind that. Die paarde dan op pad na die wegspringplek toe en soos die waarschijnlijk kan sien het die som nou lekker uitgekom hier by Kenloor nadat ons vroeger vandag bykeer reen gehad het. Net voordat die na ons oor gekom het het die paarde natuurlijk hier by ons voorbij gegaan. Die 15 Young Mary, 9 van hulle wat aan die Bloodline series gaan deelneem. Op pad dan na die wegspringplek toe. Big Schaefer is ek nou langs my, en Big Schaefer is die marketing manager of the Thoroughbred Breeders. Victor, what are you in town for? Well, I'm in town for the race, obviously, Henny. Um, very excited, a lot of excitement here this afternoon. Um, this race forms part of our very big 10 million rand sponsorship, as far as racing is concerned, as uh, ongoing sponsorship from the Thoroughbred Breeders. And I take it that you'll have some sales in Cape Town as well, a bit later. I thought the Divine Cause looked very hard. And she ran, of course, fourth in the city city. So, um, uh, a bit of a disappointing run after that, but she's obviously got the ability, and uh, I think she could be a, a nice a nice one for those who like outsiders. Um, another horse that uh, caught the eye was uh, Foxy Dixon. Uh, but, of course, uh, Jeff Wood has got three horses in the race, and uh, his new stable jockey, Glenn Hatch, is on Wild Lavender, so one must assume that that's his uh, elect. Talking about Elifa, who won the Phillies Guineas, that was over 1,600 meters, this one over 1,800. Do you think Elifa will make it? Well, there are some stamina doubts because Lancaster, her sire, is known as a sire sprinters, but there is, a, there is a, a bit of stamina on the female side, and uh, she won that race very well that day. She was certainly running on well, and I think she should manage over 200. Right, uh, Conrad Wilkinson was in fact the jockey that day at the Guineas when he rode Elifa, and uh, the question, of course, is will he make the extra 200 meter? Will she then? Conrad Wilkinson rode Elifa to a win in the Phillies Guineas. But Conrad, the big question is, will she actually reach 1,800 meters? I, I didn't think she will get to 1,800 today. She finished him very strong in the Phillies Guineas. She had a low running this you know. So there's no doubt in my mind that she will get to 1,800 today. That was quite a finish, you know. It was, it was a good finish. It, looked, it was easier than it looked, really. You know, she, she's a hard filly to get going. I got her going. And over the last hundred meters, I actually put my feet down and it was quite easy from there on. Well, if you were to win the Phillies uh, Championship, the uh, Rex Crew form, do you think that Foxy Vixen's probably the one to beat? The way Foxy Vixen was finishing, you've got to respect her. You know, there's quite a few other horses in the field that you've got to respect. You've got to um, respect David Payne's filly. She's done some good races in stronger company at a uh, weight for age. And, you know, if you go on the line to Molly Manny, you see the, um, Molly Manny beat and came out second and then won the next start as well. So, she, you know, so you've got to, you got to respect that. Elifa, the winner of the Philly Skinnies, they seem to have a bit of a problem with him therefore. With her, I mean. Well, I think they're just checking the saddle there. Possibly it wasn't uh, quite tight and maybe tipped a little bit down on the way down to the start. Foxy Vixen is the one that I think uh, could just make it because, you know, she was a very close second in the Phillies Guinea. Um, uh, yes, uh, Henry was actually third there, but uh, as you say, it was a very close finish. She was right up there, uh, running on running on nicely at the end of the race. Uh, with extra distance to Super here, and of course she's bred for the extra too. The jockey of uh, Foxy Vixen, of course, is uh, Mark Khan, and as Paul said, she was in fact third in that race. Let's hear what uh, Mark has to say about his chances. Of the three fillies in the race from Jeff Woodruff's stable, Mark Khan has chosen Foxy Vixen. Mark, why? Uh, I was engaged to ride the filly when I rode in the Rex in the Guineas, and I asked me to ride in the Rex Crew form, and I took the ride, but I'm very happy with my choice in the ride. I think she's a good filly. It was reported that uh, Foxy Vixen got into quite a bit of trouble in the Phillies Guineas. It appears like that in the running, but I don't think that she got into any trouble at all. She was just very green and took a bit of a while to get into a start. And once she got going, she really ran on strongly. 
But looking at the field for the Rex 2 form fillies, Mark, uh, it's quite an open field, I would say. I think it's quite open. Uh, you've got to consider Lethal beat me last time. If she stays the extra ground. And then um, the filly of the eight chains, that will be all. And I like the stable companion while Lavender. I think she's an excellent one. Thank you. When we saw the betting a uh, few moments ago, you probably saw that Sweet Secret is the favourite. Sweet Secret from the stable of uh, David Payne. Uh, he's had two runs uh, with this filly here at uh, the case since he's come down, with Anton Marcus in the saddle on both occasions. The last year to Sweet Secret, he had so, but was it was Kenilworth, and it was thrown over 1800 meters, net as it was as Anton Marcus in the saddle, and so it's net net geklopt here, Molly Mandy. Anton uh, Marcus then has this to say about what the chances are of Sweet Secret. From David Payne's stable to be ridden by Anton Marcus. Anton, the horse has run over 1800 meters here at Kenilworth, in fact, the last two runs. So you must be pretty, pretty confident that she will get the distance. Yeah, I'm very confident she has to get the distance. She has gone over further. We should have no problem at all with 1800. She is being tipped by quite a few of the pundits, but surely Elifa must be one of the horses to beat. To me, I feel even above the rich filly. I feel she's really improved with the blinkers. Elifa must be with a big chance, but I'm very confident with our filly. But if one actually looks at the race, Anton, it's a wide open race. It's a very open race. Any one of five horses could, could be right here to finish. Wild Levin never seen with a chance. Fox Dictionary had an excellent race in the Phillies Guineas, as did Elisa, so I said it's very open. In picture then, Anton Marcus uh, on board the uh, Philly Sweet Secret, and uh, this Philly has had uh, eight runs. He's won six runs for three wins and two seconds, and uh, one of the few Phillies in the race who has actually run over 1,800 meters, and uh, both here at Kenilworth. We'll have a look now at the betting for next Saturday's big one, the JMD Met. And as you can see, money has come for Illustrador from the stable of uh, Tony Millard, now quoted at 72 here in Cape Town, with Spanish Galliard, who was the favourite now, at 41. Flaming Rock and uh, Chris Place says the horse is well at 61, Rafina at 71, and uh, further 21 and upwards the others. Playing rock this morning uh, at 6 o'clock gallop here at Kenilworth. It was uh, specially requested by uh, Chris Mace whether he could gallop the horse on uh, Kenilworth uh, track. And this permission, of course, was granted to him. And uh, let's have a look at the last 300 meters. Well, as you can see, uh, Flaming Rock really going well with the big race jockey Carl Nisius in the saddle. And he was really pressing the throttle there, I think, for. Yes, uh, he is starting out very well there. And of course, that's the first time we've seen him in blinkers, which he'll be wearing in the net for the first time. Do you think it's going to make a big difference on uh, big race day? Well, it's difficult to say, but uh, I'm sure Chris Smith has his reasons for doing that. And uh, of course, there were some misgivings about his well-being after the Queen's Plate. But he certainly showed out well there, so I'm sure he's back to best. The rally paar in the race is om in te gaan. Gaan die wetter in binnenkort begin. 15 young Marys with 9 van hulle wat aan die Bloodline series gaan deelneem. Die record vir hierdie wetter in is ene wat redelijk oud is. En die record staan achter die naam van Ice Clipper reeds in 1980 opgestel. Our big race caller for the Rex 2 Form Phillies Championship is Jahan Malerba. Well, thanks, Henny. There you see Sartre going in, one of the outsiders. Next to that in the red and yellow colours is number four, Falcon Edge, one of the three Woodworth trade entries, and another of the outsiders here. <laughs> Working now on Divine Course, there you see one of the more fancy of the runners, Sweet Secret, the ruling favourite. And then last I looked, this one had been backed in just 15 to 10. In the purple with the silver colours, number five, Foxy Dixon and Mark Khan. A little unlucky in the Phillies Guineas, finishing best of all, and the extra distance will certainly suit that one in this event. I've got a little drama in the start here. Number three, Double Door. So you see the riderless horse, Double Door, went over in the 10s, out of picture. 
and no doubt because veterinary surgeon will have to examine that and the decision will be made on whether she runs and it looks as though she's not running because the loading process is continuing and it looks as though number three double door will in fact come out of this event so a big disappointment for the owners her first attempt over 1800 meters, she'd won her last two. She was the second favorite here, but it certainly looks as though Double Door has been taken out. There's your one of the other Richmond runners, while Lavender's going forward. We wait for one now, Foxy Vixen. We have confirmation, Double Doors are scratching. Foxy Vixen goes in, they're ready to race in the Rex True form. All in line. They'll be away any second, and there they go. It's a perfect beginning. Please be true, responded quickly. Perfect order. There goes Foxy Vixen off to set the early pace. Racing up on the outside, perfect order is there too with Starter back at the rail. Wild Lavender is going up handy. She's racing just off the leading line. Bold Jewel up on the outside, going up to improve her position. They're not going that strongly. Here's Alifa racing just off the leading line. She's well enough placed. Please be true along her outside. Falcon Edge is just in behind these. Little Cabin is racing some five lengths off the leader. Then comes Divine Cause and Midnight Metallic. The Boy Shuffle racing back one from last. Happy News is the trailer. Twelve lengths cover them. They run towards the 1100 meter mark in perfect order. Now getting on with it up front. Deciding the pace is far too slow and goes up to lead as they go to the thousand meters. Perfect order out in front by two. Foxy Vixen fighting with the riders racing in second. They're still going very slowly. Racing in behind this one. Bold Jewel is third just on the outside with starter fourth. Wild Lavender circling horses on the turn and moving closer at every call. Then please be true. Sweet Secrets back at the rail. She's now just three lengths off them. She's good enough to win from there. They're about to spin in the straight now with 600 meters left to go. And perfect order straightened up the leader in the Rex True form. Foxy Vixen towards the outside the first to challenge and Leafers coming down the inside with Sweet Secret. Starters in behind that, then comes Wild Lavender and Bold Jewel towards the outside. Perfect order, Foxy Vixen now puts her head in front in the centre of the course. Sweet Secret looking for room with Leafer down the inside. Foxy Vixen, but now the Philly Guineas winner, Leafer comes through to take it up in the centre. And it's Alifa who takes it up. Little Cabin's coming on late. Sweet Secret back at the rail. Alifa, Little Cabin in the centre is coming on strongly. It's going to be close, but Alifa's finding extra room. Goes on to win it. Alifa the winner. Little Cabin second. Sweet Secret will be third. Then a wall of horses for the minor placing. Well, there were seven of doubts about her. She won the Phillies Guinea. She had the class to win here. She only had to get the trip to be the winner. And certainly, she got the trip. Let's take a look at the replay. Here she is. She's just put her head in front along the inside. The favourites along her inside with the pink colours and the black, the grey. She can find no extra over the last 15 minutes. Left to Little Cabin in the centre of the course. One of the outsiders to give her most to do. But Elipa has it all wrapped up here entering the last 50. She's going on strongly, showing no signs of stopping. Little Cabin flattered for a moment, but she's also going up and down in the closing stages. And Elifa has it safe as they drive up to the line. The angle favours the outside horse, but Elifa has done enough to hold out Little Cabin. Close for the minor place. looks as though Sweet Secret on the far side has just got there from Please Be True. Elifa in shot and, of course, a wonderful win, I think, for Dolph Mader, who is the trainer of Elifa. And uh, this is a three-year-old uh, Lancaster filly out of Heirloom and uh, bred by the Beaumont Stud, once again ridden by Conrad Wilkinson. And when you listen to the interview earlier uh, during our broadcast here from Kenilworth, you'll probably remember that Conrad said he could possibly do it, and in fact he did it. A wonderful race run by Elifa with Little Cabin in the second place from the stable of Willie Peters, written by Gavin Howes. There he is. There she is. A three-year-old Lancaster filly and uh, Paul Galicki next to me, Paul. A wonderful race by the, run by that filly. Yes, a great run. A very gusty filly. A sweet secret to pay the came at her down the inside, halfway down the straight, and she just kept on fighting back, and uh, in the end, she, she kept going very gamely. Did you see sweet secret in the race? Sweet Secret is well placed and uh, moved up quite nicely on the inside in the, in the sort of halfway down the straight, but just lacked extra in the closing stages. The result that we have for you for the Rex True Form Phillies Guineas just run here at Kenilworth over 1800 metres for 250,000 won. 
First was number seven, Elisa. Second, number eight, Little Cabin. Third, number 14, Sweet Secret. And fourth, number 11, Please Be True. So the result, seven, eight, 14, 11. A wonderful race run here at Kenilworth in the Bloodline Series 4, the Rex Form Phillies Guinea, and a wonderful winner in Elisa. We'll be back here at Kenilworth next Saturday for the big one, the JMD Mets. In the meantime, it's back to Martin Locke and Peter Conabat in the studio in